Good day everyone, this is Crypto Portfolio Project and my name is Dan. Today we will look into the ICO of Gnosis. The review of this project became possible thanks to you, subscribers of my Telegram channel. If you want to know how many volts other projects have accumulated, click the Telegram link under the video. The team consists of experienced crypto enthusiasts who are also a part of Consensus Company. If you don't know, Consensus is an entity which helps with the adoption of Ethereum and is thought to be one of the most respected companies in the Ethereum sphere and blockchain sphere as a whole. By the way, Gnosis has a board which consists of Joseph Lubin, CEO of Consensus, and Jeremy Miller, founder of Enterprise Ethereum Alliance, and Gnosis team members. They will be responsible for the movement of your funds. Also, the multi-signature wallet will be used as a second protective layer, so the funds will not be stolen or used inappropriately. What is the main idea of Gnosis? To be a platform where third-party developers create prediction market applications. To provide oracles and accept different centralized and decentralized oracles on the blockchain. Gnosis is going to use modified Dutch auction during its ICO. I will expand on this point on a different slide. Gnosis is aiming to be a platform. This is going to be a platform which gives opportunity to other people to build their betting applications on Gnosis technology. This way Gnosis will be able to diversify revenue streams for Gno token holders. One of the main tasks of the team is to lower the barriers for the non-technical persons. This way they hope to improve adoption. The whole ecosystem will be based on oracles and two tokens, Wiz or Wisdom and Gno. We will cover it later on the other slide. So what kinds of applications are we going to see on Gnosis platform? first kind of application is financial instruments. For example, you can bet on the financial results of big companies in third quarter. Then we have insurance. You are able to bet on different catastrophes. Also, <clears throat> we have information. This is where insiders are able to make bets on the performance of, for example, companies. Another usage here is the price discovery of pieces of art. Before an auction, you can bet on the price of a picture. Another thing is governance. It gives ability to vote for the decision which will lead to some particular target. For example, organizations uh, must take a decision on which policy to implement in order to maximize future welfare, and the market can help with that by voting. Sports betting is a huge industry, which is another market for Gnosis platform. Any type of bet is possible on the site. Gnosis has four layers. All of them are on the Ethereum blockchain. Then goes Gnosis Core layer, Gnosis Services layer, and finally, application layer. Let's take a closer look into the final two layers. Gnosis services layer consists of three main components. Oracles, which provide information to the platform, Futarchy, and state channels, which will make the whole ecosystem work much faster. Application layer has three components. Insurance, information sales, and betting. That's pretty much it. Let's move. The platform already has something to show. I have to admit that possible implementations on top of Gnosis can look real slick and interesting. Having the prototypes of working applications is always very important and Gnosis team wants to show that. Check out the Gnosis site to see more. Market is always very important when you want to create a startup. That's why I really like when projects put market information into their white paper. 
but this and for I found myself. Here is the distribution of gambling industry in the world. As you can see, the market we are interested in is betting. The whole gambling market exceeds $452 billion. Betting takes 36% share. It is expected that betting market is going to grow in comparison to other markets more dynamically and it will reach 41% by 2020. Existing market players like William Hill are centralized and lacking the advantages of a decentralized prediction market. For example, speed, ability not to rely on centralized storage of gambling sites, low fees. Gnosis is really able to bring innovation and make betting market more competitive and fair. Another interesting thing about Gnosis is its ICO token distribution. As you can see, late participation is more fruitful in terms of tokens received for investors. If the tokens are bought in the first day, it means that all participants will be given less than 5% of all GNO tokens, while developers will be given 95%. This is the biggest problem of the coming ICO. Many people point out that this system is strange and should have been changed, but the developers made it clear that this way the price will be more market-based. So the system used is called Modified Dutch Auction. It means that late investors will benefit more in terms of received tokens. And so the finalization of ICO happens if the Gnosis receives $12.5 million or 9 million tokens are sold. Unsold tokens will be in the hands of the Gnosis team. By the way, the Gnosis team will have 10% of the 10 million tokens in any way. There are multiple ways of using GNO tokens for different people. Investors are able to buy and hold tokens and claim profits, but also they are able to insert their tokens into a smart contract for 30 or 365 days and get WIS tokens, which are going to be native Gnosis currency. One WIS token will equal one USD in fees terms. Players are going to choose between EF, BTC and WIS to bet on something. Developers are going to create application on top of Gnosis platform, making ecosystem more popular. Let's sum up. GNO tokens can be put into a smart contract and you can get WIS tokens from it. Then you lock your GNO tokens, 30% of WIS tokens will be given instantly, while other 70% will be distributed during the lock period. By the way, GNO tokens will return to you by the end of the lock period. <clears throat> WIS is going to be the main currency, while BTC and ETH also will be accepted. Fees paid inside the network will be locked in smart contract. As a GNO token holder, you will be able to submit a bid to receive profit. What are the advantages? Gnosis is already operational. There are working markets and the team is very experienced and motivated. Platform will concentrate more on attracting developers. That leads to bigger and better diversification of revenue streams. There are no pre-sale or bonus days. I really do not like projects which base their ICOs on how soon you discovered them on the internet. That attitude should change towards a more stable price during the whole ICO period. GNO tokens will be actively used inside the system. This way, this ICO certainly will not be a financial instrument in the eyes of Securities and Exchange Commission. What about disadvantages? The modified Dutch auction. Well, Ethereum blockchain may fail and it's not yet open source, but the developers promise to do it after the ICO.